As you get ready to start your youth ministry year with your students, uh, they're all coming back together. They've been all probably all over the place for the summer. And sometimes the hardest thing uh, is to get them to mesh. You brought in new freshmen. They got new kids that came in from the outside. Uh, some of these kids know each other and some of them don't. My suggestion for the way to get them to connect with one another is to actually set up some collaborative games. See, there's two types of games, really simple. There's competitive games where there definitely is a winner. And then there's collaborative games, which is more about finding out about each other and engaging one another. I say play collaborative games at the beginning of your year because they need to get to know each other, to connect. Humans have this natural thing in us that when we meet a new person, we're trying to figure out what they're like and how they're like us. So we ask what they do, or we ask their name, or where they live, just so we can make them not some other person, some stranger that's dangerous that we got to keep far away. Collaborative games bring some of those walls down because they, they ask questions and they, and they play with things that help them realize, hey, you're more like me than I thought. So uh, a good suggestion would be uh, one of your first nights, actually make a list of things like uh, get a signature from someone, from three other people who go to your school. Uh, get a, um, a, maybe an initial or, or some kind of like quick middle name of four people and see how many ha people have the same middle name as you do. You can make a whole list of things that help them understand that the people that are around them are people who are like them. You need to foster this sense of community if you want your students not only to engage in your large group, but really when you push them towards small group, because they're gonna need to know that the person they're talking to is like them, understands where they're coming from. Do the same thing with yourself. Show them that you're like them as well, that you have similar uh, background or structures, that there are things that you too have in common. The more you can help your students understand that they have things in common with the other students in your group, the more they're going to open up and the quicker they'll develop a sense of community.